I don't know if many of you out there uh, that are here and also out there in uh, internet land have, uh, are aware of uh, Life Please website and YouTube channel. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this, you know about the YouTube channel, but I wonder if you're watching it uh, at other times other than on Sunday mornings. Uh, from time to time, I check it to see what's on there, to see what's going on. And as you know, the mission of Life Plea Ministries is to, to stop the senseless murder that's gone, being done through abortion. And they're out there on the street demonstrating and offering help to those women that have decided to, to have an abortion at these abortion mills that are in this area. Yesterday, there was a video on there and uh, it was uh, quite moving. It was a short video, about seven and a half minutes or so, but it showed something that was chilling. And I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna read you exactly what I wrote down in my thoughts this morning uh, during my time of meditation. I said, concerning the demon who was revealed yesterday in front of Bread and Roses abortion mill. That abortion mill is located on Highland Avenue just before Bel Air. And I urge you to watch that video. It was a video taken from Mark's body cam. And it is on the YouTube channel that you're watching right now. And you will see how Satan has used a man to claim his territory. Quite frightening to witness this. When you see it, you can't help but know that Satan was very angry and has been angry for a long time about what Mark and Stacy are doing, along with the others that are out there supporting them and getting the word out. It's an example of the battle that's being fought by the righteous ones of us. I ask you to please pray for God's protection and guidance as Mark and Stacy continue to bring hope to the mothers who are making a decision out of selfishness to abort their babies. Please watch that video. It will change your, it'll change your life. Now let's get on with, with the reading that I also have in conjunction with what I just read you. From Matthew verse, chapter 5, verses 10 through 12. It says, this is Jesus. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. You are blessed when they insult you and persecute you and falsely say every kind of evil against you because of me. Be glad and rejoice because your reward is great in heaven. For that is how they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And what happened yesterday is another example of that. And I know there were other examples during that day that happened. And every time that they are out there doing what God has led them to do, there is persecution. Pray for them. Pray for that ministry. It makes you think. 